I wanted to um, share that I, I've always found it, or I've, as I started to kind of go back through the stories and prayers and things that I was raised with, um, I find it pretty inspiring to see how these, the images and, you know, how the stories of these gods and goddesses and these deities evolves with the, with the conditions people are facing. So I wanted to share a little bit of that um, before then kind of sharing this prayer for Lakshmi that you know, is is born out of this work and this movement um, that we're building together. So if you do have the slides up, I can share what some of what we found. Um, and I think it's, you know, the this this project of kind of um, again, kind of confronting Hindu nationalism, um, I think in some ways it has many different pieces to it. One is asserting that that some of these representations of, of the divine are our own and we we can choose to interpret them as well. We don't always have to accept the interpretations that are given to us. And in fact, maybe our interpretations are are closer to their to their origins. And so um, this uh, these are just a few images of the of different goddesses, some of whom we've already heard about, Durga, Lakshmi, um, that I wanted to share, all of whom are kind of related in the compendium of you know, the divine, in the divine, divine cosmology of, of the space tradition. But the one on the left is the goddess Kali, who, um, this is actually a, a, a drawing from welfare rights women um, that um, I found uh, some years ago. And the goddess Kali is often known as the goddess of destruction, um, but she's, you know, the destruction is to create the world that we in fact deserve. She's destroying oppression she's destroying those forces um, of injustice and in their place she is creating the the world we know is possible and the world world we actually deserve and so in this in this interpretation of kali from from poor and low income and you know women uh, who are welfare recipients and domestic workers you can see that what she holds in her hands to create the world that we deserve are um things that, you know, she holds a child, she holds, uh, you know, a growing plant, she holds things that are cleaning, she holds a book, that it's through these systems of care that we are, that we are creating the world that we deserve. So I, I, I always found that image really powerful and moving. Um, this one next to it is an, is a, is a, is an image of the goddess Durga. Again, many of these goddesses have multiple hands because, Women do a lot. No, <laughs> it's because um, there are many things that they are carrying forward into the world that we're creating together. So this is an image of the goddess Dorga as a migrant woman. Um, this was uh, from a few years ago when uh, the crisis of migration was really hitting, was really escalated around the world. And um, and so this was uh, Dorga as a migrant woman carrying her children to to the world that that they are deserving of. Um, and so the next slide shows two more of these images the one on the left um is a in, is a is an image of these they're called contagion goddesses that you'll see in villages all across india that are there to protect they're often at the front of the villages often there to protect the inhabitants of of those villages from various plagues or you know they're so they're you know and they can they can represent they can try to protect those inhabitants from various different injustices various different plagues um and so this was this image emerged during the pandemic where the contagion goddesses was reinterpreted as you know providing all these other forms of health um, in that time and then finally on the right we have lakshmi again who is born in kind of these swampy waters um standing on this lotus and her four hands are supposed to represent, you know, health and wealth, not just material wealth, but kind of abundant wealth and life and love and, and freedom. And so um, in this spirit of reclaiming, uh, reclaiming these goddesses, reclaiming the representation for our movement, I wanted to offer this prayer um, for, the, for the goddess Lakshmi. Um, so this is a prayer for Diwali, and it begins, um, Om Jai Lakshmi, goddess born from the struggle between good and evil, guide us toward the light. In a world where plenty is possible, let us end hunger, 
thirst and homelessness. In your nurturing hands, let us seek refuge from want, fear, war, and violence. And with your grace, let our world be reborn in your image, where all needs are met, where morality and love are abundant, and whereby we are free. Om Jai Lakshmi, Om Shanti, Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace.